Steve, next show, Friday fight night in Liverpool, uh, back at the Olympia. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly it's come. It's not, not long since we've been there and uh, it, it, it's flew around, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, we don't do many on the Friday nights. Um, difficult times, aren't we? But um, it's gone well. And obviously, I think the main reason is because we've got a good local uh, derby top in the bill. Yeah, Colin Day against um, uh, Tom McGuinness. Both don't really need to take the fight against one another, but the... They want to move on, don't they? Well, it's getting to the stage now with, with the lads, you know, where they want to step up in rounds and they want to step up uh, in quality. And, and the easiest way to do it is to, is to fight someone local where they're both selling tickets because you can get to the stage where, you know, you're going to try and cover the ticket sales with some, somebody else and then you're having a really hard fight and, and there's, there's no money about so for two to fight each other that's that's the way forward and uh, it's not just a question of it is it's a good fight it makes financial sense for the boxers and, and for me as a promoter as well so uh, it's really good because i think the other kids find it, it a bit easy to sell tickets when there's a good genuine top of the bill 50 55. yeah and a, a great undercard because we've got the return uh, to one of our shows in uh, sean mashadod yeah, it's great to have Masher on the show. Obviously, he'll be bringing his support over from Birkenhead, and uh, you know we, we've missed him for a while. He's been on Sky, and to be honest, I wasn't too sure whether he'd want to drop back and to fight him on one of our shows. But you know, uh, he jumped out the chance. He was, he was keen as mustard, and, and he's looking forward to it. And uh, you know, he's not got an easy fight in Jordan Ellison, who, who, who come and beat Colin Day. Not well, he took, yeah, he took Colin's uh, old, didn't he? Um, yeah, and uh, just put up a good fight up against. Um, uh, Craig Evans, when you the uh... yeah, listen, it, it, it's a fight, it's a must must win fight for for, for, for Masher, isn't it? Because hopefully we get a win here and the uh, European champion um, who Masher's already beat, maybe that's something we can get for him. So uh, yeah. you know, it, it's a big incentive for him to come back and put a performance on and look good, and and that's getting back on the on the Sky shows. Um, then we got a few kids making their debut. Too. Uh, got uh, Jay Collins training out at Derry Matthews Gym. Yeah, just been, I've had a phone call now. He, he's he's on the third opponent now. So uh, Michael Mooney, he's fighting, and uh, Mooney always comes and has a go as well. So uh, that'd be a nice debut for James. Yeah. Um, who's the kid making it? Uh, Matthew Rennie, the kid from the Isle of Man. Yeah, I've heard good things about Matthew Rennie. I'm really looking forward to to seeing seeing fighting. Yeah, so I've to pull out on him, but. I believe we've got a couple of names in the pipeline, so uh, he'll be matched on by, by this afternoon, yeah. Not one of our fighters, but a kid making his debut again, uh, Sean Yaxley from uh, North Wales. Don't know much about him, he's with Chris Sanigar, apparently he should have fought last week, but he had problems with the board and, and it didn't get through for whatever reason, and don't, I don't know on that one. I mean, we've had the same again, we had Cameron Harpenny, he should be fighting on here, and uh, feel gutted for him, he's been training for six months, and... Uh, because of the bureaucracy at the board, you know, uh, the Welsh Area Council haven't uh, passed him to be um, approved, you know, as a reinstatement. Well, that's where I bumped into, where he was helping um, Cameron uh, and Sean uh, Dodd get ready for these mm. fights, and uh, he was down there doing a bit of sparring, and looks quite good, mate. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard good things about him, I mean, he'll, he'll start the show off, yeah. Then we'll go to the, the cruiserweights, we've got two of them on there. We got uh, big punching Jay Farrell. Yeah, he's fighting um, a kid who come over and fought Nathan Qualls on the last fight. Oh, right, game right, big, you, yeah. You, so um, no, he's moving up to six rounds. Jay now, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how he goes on there. But I think 2019 will be uh, a big, a big year for Jay, and hopefully uh, by the end of it, he'll, he'll be forcing his way onto TV shows and, and winning titles. Right. Uh, then we got uh, Mike McKay. Been a bit unfortunate with injuries, but uh, back for his second fight against Jay Farrell's opponent last time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really uh, struggled with um, cru cruise weights for the, um, the the stars at the moment in the in the UK. So we've had to bring two foreigners over. But Mike McKay, uh, you say you have a little bit of a problem when he got his license. Then he had his first fight, looked great, and then he had an injury and had to get his shoulder. Well, actually, he, he, he fought injured, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he only yeah, had one arm so, in, uh, in that fight. It, it took a while, but, you know, Mike was a, a good amateur and um, obviously he'll need a few pro fights, but 
you know, uh, again, we'll, we'll push him a little bit faster because he, 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 he's, he's good pedigree. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, uh, this could be. Uh, a fight of the night. I know it's only a four rounder, but Sean Kearns against Inform Brett Final. Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, putting that a bit later on because I do think it is a good fight. Fair play to Sean, you know. I know he he's. To, yeah. He has to fight that Brett Final. And, uh, <laughs> Not a good time he, to fight him. He, at the moment, including beating Marcel Braithwaite in our last Liverpool show, I think he's on the win of. Uh, three, three on the, the bounce. Is it three on the bounce? But, but in his last seven fights, mm. he's won four, drawn one, took. To, uh, I think two people, uh, no, four of those wins were all unbeaten, uh, and the two people that he lost to was Ian Butcher, who's fighting for the British title, and uh, the uh, the Welsh star, uh, Sean McAldrick. Yeah, it was a safe fair play, Sean. <laughs> we, we, we've got a fight there to, to, to watch, haven't we? Proper and fight. Hopefully, yeah. uh, uh, Sh Sean's confidence will pay off and he'll come through victorious. I, I think we're in for a treat, and uh, you know, Friday fight night, I always like that, mate. Yeah, yeah. And obviously we've got Luke Willis as well. And oh, yeah, I uh, forgot about Luke. Trying to get Luke um, good performance last time there, wasn't yeah, it? it was a good performance, yeah. So uh, at this, this moment in time, we, we still got to get someone for him, but we'll have someone for Luke for Friday night now. Right, all right, mate. I'll see you on Friday. Cheers, thank you. Bye, Bye Steve.